Rebecca from Salon Antebellum. I am so excited to show you how I achieved this look, so keep on watching. I am working on prepping my hair with heat protection. Normally, I would use 450 Protect from Sexy Hair, but I didn't have that on hand, so I just used something that I received in a boxy charm, and I was looking at to see if I could recognize the name, and I couldn't. Now I'm working on sectioning my hair. I do clip it up into three separate sections. Um, they don't have to be specific. It's just the way that I prefer to section it, um, just to make it easier on myself when it comes to curling, just to make sure I don't have anything in my way and I get a nice even curl. So I did apply a little bit more heat protection there and I am combing it through and combing all the tangles out just to make sure that I have a nice even curl throughout the hair strand. And then I do begin in the front hairline section, curling the hair away from the face just because I think that's the most flattering for my face shape. You could do towards your face if that is your preference. And then I do alternate sections going away from the face and then again towards the face and you could do it a different way, whatever you prefer. And then I repeat on the other side, again curling away from the face, and then you will see in the next section that I will curl then towards the face. And then once I get a little further down the hair strand, I do like to unravel the curling iron, um, but at the same time it kind of twists the hair a little bit more just to kind of set the curl a little bit more in place and give it a little bit more of a tight wave, if that makes sense. I have now moved on to my second section and I work from the back to the front just because it's easier for me to control what hair I'm working on at the time. Again, I am making sure to use alternating sections and again, twisting the hair as I go down the hair strand just to lock the curl in place. And just at the end, you will see just how pretty the curl is um, and how much body. I do um, enjoy this technique. I, I'm glad that I learned it. Shout out to Brad Mondo. Again, I applied a little more heat protection and I'm combing it through with a wet brush. There goes my four-year-old. He was rattling my um, tripod, <laughs> little stinker, and he was coming at me with his Nerf gun. There he is. Hi, Rainer. I had to pause it and have his dad come and get him. <laughs> they were outside camping while I was trying to film this, so, um, and he wouldn't stay outside. He kept coming in and out of the house, so, you know, that's life with children.
So how are all of you enjoying being on in quarantine? I, for one, am looking forward to getting back to work. I'm looking forward to getting my hands in some hair. I'm looking forward to seeing all my uh, fellow stylists. And, um, yeah, creating some beautiful art on some heads of hair. This quarantine has really stressed me out. I'm sure many, many others can say the same. Um, it is a stressful time, so we're just glad to be here, um, you know, shining a light and being helpful to people who want to see things like this. I hope you guys are all enjoying this, and uh, we're really grateful to the for the continued support we are receiving from our loyal guests, and um, it just means a lot to us. I was trying to say I should just keep that section straight, because um, that would be a look, as Brad Mondo would say. Come at me, Brad. I was trying to figure out where my hair wanted to lay. I know it looked a little bit silly, um, but I just kind of bring my hair back and then push it forward a little bit, slightly, just to see where it wants to part. And as you can see, it kind of parted like the Red Sea. You can see the technique a little bit better where you twist the hair as you pull it down the hair strand. It just makes for a really pretty fun um, wavy look. So I'm about to let my hair cool down. I let it cool for about two minutes. That was enough time. Um, so I'm going to be using Surfer Girl in my hair. Um, it is a dry texture spray. Uh, I just like to put it at the root area just to give my hair a little more oomph, just because it is so heavy. I need as much help as I can get, I'm trying to give it some lift and volume at the root area. So here I am um, applying some Surfer Girl, which is a dry texture spray right at the root area in each individual section that I use with the curls. And then I went in with some silk finish from Big Sexy Hair um, because it is very lightweight and gives it some really nice shine. Um, and then I emulsified it through my fingers and raked through the curls with my fingers just to break up the curl. And as you can see, we have these gorgeous volumized curls and I'm roughing up the texture right at the root and then flopping it from one side to another just to figure out where I like it best. And this is the finished result. I hope you enjoyed my video and happy quarantine.